Another week of extreme weather hit the United States with tornadoes, hail, heat, thunderstorms, and floods. The climate crisis is upon us. On Wednesday, North Carolina was slammed by an EF3 tornado with peak winds of 240 kilometers per hour, injuring at least 16 people. That same tornado heavily damaged a large Pfizer pharmaceutical plant in the state, a facility responsible for manufacturing a quarter of the company's injectable medications used in U.S. hospitals. Flash flooding swamped areas of Kentucky and Tennessee. This as unrelenting heat scorched wide swaths of North America and the Caribbean. In the U.S., more than 100 million people have been under heat advisories. The city of Phoenix, Arizona, broke a heat record from nearly 50 years ago on Tuesday, when temperatures topped 43 degrees Celsius. The city has seen more than 20 consecutive days of extreme heat, with more of the same predicted through the weekend. It's like you open an oven door and it's the heat wave. Like when you open like an oven, that's what it feels like exactly what it feels like. So if you're like in a hotel and you walk outside, it's the same feeling. If you're like baking cookies or something and you open the, <laughs> the oven door, it's going to hit you right in the face. So. And that heat just keeps coming. Miami residents also were under excessive heat advisories Friday. Up north, the states of New York and Pennsylvania saw a renewed risk of thunderstorms and more flash flooding. Even the dust blown across the Atlantic from Africa's Sahara Desert is having an impact on the weather here in Miami. The dust tends to trap the hot air near the ground, increasing already high temperatures. And according to NASA, this year is shipping to be the hottest year on record, and next year could be worse. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.